this session we will be making a simple application using matlab so our aim in this tutorial will be making this application as shown so it's an adder block when we hit the plus button it adds the two number and displays there irrespective of the number whether positive or negative so it's a very simple or we can say a fundamental calculator sort of example so let's get started so in command prompt of matlab we'll type guide and then open a blank canvas so here is the layout or the canvas for the guide where we'll be sketching or where we'll be making our application layout so to get the listings of various elements we'll tick the checkbox in the preference so let's resize our canvas and before proceeding any further let's save the file so we'll name it as my adder as soon as we save it it generates a script file that is .m file so for time being we won't review the functions we'll directly proceed to the application so let's add the elements like edit box edit text so as we execute it again it appends to the script file and generates the layout edit box refers to that user can change the inputs or the strings so as soon as we double click property inspector appears which consists of various attribute related to that element so in this session like we'll be focusing mainly on the string and the tag that is the string and the tag so string is something which user will perceive or we user can interact but the tag is something our program will be using so setting the string let's say for a number we'll enter 11 so it gets automatically adjusted there and the font and various other attributes one can easily understand important part is the tag which our program will be using so we'll name it as num1 and if we see the tag and the string so let's execute it once again so the changes are automatically appended in the script file so there we have so user can enter any number there so let's duplicate the same and for time being let's change the string that is the number displayed so we'll write as 10 and we'll change the tag to num2 like it will handle this edit box as num2 so num1 and num2 we have static text box that is user can see but user can't interact we'll be using only it for displaying it as a string not to edit so we won't be modifying that tag there and we can change the font size color and the weight
and same with the canvas also we can do let's save the file so for calculating we'll be requiring a push button so we'll drag and place a push button there again double clicking property inspector appears so setting the string with the arithmetic operator that is plus and then setting it its font so as soon as we execute the program file gets appended and the application is compiled so right now the layout is almost ready so for arranging the layout we'll select all the elements and hit that yellow bar and we can vertically and horizontally align it now for displaying the solution will require one more box but this should be static since user should not directly manipulate that so for timing will paste the our solution for 11 plus 10 that is 21 one may leave that as space also So our application layout is almost ready. The like arrow keys also one can adjust the spacings. spacing of each element in the canvas so the strategy here will be programming that push button so save the tag first for the solution so as soul so here will be programming the push button opening the editor file so to program push button the simplest approach is open the file and search for the push button there we have or right clicking it and then view call back and then call back so it directly lists where to edit so the strategy here is the user will be interacting only with the string values for the edit text box so first strategy will be to get the string of num1 and then get string of num2 add it and then directly set it to the solution as soon as we hit the plus it should get num1 num2 and then process it that is add it and then display it in the solution so there are three line code so let's get it so we we'll define a variable a and simple function to get is get and round bracket since it's a function so round bracket and inside will be handling that edit element edit text box element as handles dot tag name that is num1 and right now from the inspector toolbox we had many attributes this all attributes can be accessed there but we right now we will we are interested in the string value that a user will be entering and same goes with the second number also 
so we'll duplicate the statement or copy the statement there and paste it and we'll change the variable name to b and tag name to 2 So as soon as we execute the file, right now it will only capture the number like num one and num two, but it won't process it. So for setting the solution, we'll use set function. So again, for using the control of that block, we have set it set the tag as sol. So we'll type handles dot sol s o l comma. Right now we want to modify the string value, so we'll write string. And then, with what value we want to write this that string? So we want that as a value that is a plus b. So get a, get b, add it, and then directly set the solution. So right now it's taking that sky value and adding it or displaying it directly. So let's convert that string, entered string into number. So we'll be using another function called string to num converter. So again it's a function. So we'll write string str to num n u m or one may use double also. So str to num. So it converts the string into a number. Executing it and checking with the solution. So we have our application ready. if user enter some strings which which is not a number it will it won't display anything there so it's a very simple application made in jiva that is guide of matlab and after saving these two file should be again together and if in order to open the file you can directly click double click it and for editing the layout again you have to right click on the with file and open in guide